All right, Billy boy, all right. No, I, I, I had a great time, man. I had a great time. Is that Bill again, Cosby? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. I forgot about that, dude. I forgot you're just... It's pretty gross. Genius, man. You can't it's a shame. Just He's an idiot. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, no, I actually, it was, it was a huge stain on it, so I had to turn it inside out, but... Oh, yeah, I bet that's what the stain is, you dirty dog. I love you, man. Okay. Bye-bye. What a guy. You're disgusting, dude. Really? I just, I just walked in and we're gonna do this again? Just Yeah, I'm with Dylan on this one, bro. Oh, wow, you guys, you, you don't even know Cosby the way I do, so how about you just back off a little bit with the judgment? Well, I know that he drugged and raped a bunch of women. Uh, Dylan, how many times do I have to tell you this? It was a mistrial. Do you understand what that means, bud? Yeah, but it's one of those where, like, you know they did it. Okay, and this is coming from the guy who thinks OJ's still guilty, man? Yeah. Oh my God, does the American judicial system mean nothing to you two? Not when it helps a bunch of rapists get off. The hook. Get off the hook. I don't know what to say, man. I mean, look, can you say for a fact that he's innocent? Yeah, absolutely. I was at his place last night, dude. I literally saw chicks all over him and he didn't touch a single one of them. Okay, and did he drug any of them? No, Dill, good one but he actually did call them Ubers because they were all drunk and he didn't want anyone driving under the influence. Which, if you ask me, that's a very gentleman-like move. Okay. Well, then why are you getting home now? Well, that's because I was the last one there. Between us, that's actually when the real party started, you know? He brought out some 50-year-old scotch and... I don't know, he's lonely, you can tell, and then as soon as I'm about to leave again, he lured me in with some booger sugar. I'm talking Mount Everest powder, baby. Cocaine. <laughs> Wait, you, you did coke with Kaz? Fuck yeah, dude, it was sick. But, uh, I, I don't know, I did it kind of just... I felt bad for him. You can tell he's hurting from all the accusations, and it's just... He was so desperate at one point, he was literally begging me to stay by saying that he would give me his signature autograph on my sweater or something, and it was just... That sounds uh, pretty desperate, to be honest. Oh, it was. I do think he signed it. He said he did on the phone, but... I'm selling this bad boy on eBay for like a hundred bucks. Don't do that. That's evidence now. Just get back to the story. Okay, um, so we're doing line after line of coke, having a great time. He's pouring me drinks, you know, and then he starts breaking into his little one-man show doing bits from all of his acts throughout the decades. You know, Cosby-type shticks, weird stuff. Like, he's caressing me, you know. He's, like, unbuttoning stuff. You know, it's just weird stuff. Like, telling me he wants to see my butterscotch pudding. You know, just, like, weird, edgy, ironic compliments. Stuff like that. After that, um... I kind of started blacking out. I can't remember much, but... I think Cosby... Adam. What? I need you to think. What did he do? What? What did Cosby do to you? What are you guys... Just think. What are think you about talking it? about? You showed me a good time. What happened? I, I don't know. What are you what talking about? What did Cosby do to you? I don't know. All I remember is I woke up with a sore jaw and a stain on my sweater, okay? Oh, okay. I see it. I got Cosby. What did Cosby do to you? Stay on my, stay on my sweater. Oh, okay. I see it. I got Cosby. Yeah, that's a wrap.